hello 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 welcome once again welcome to day 15 right i am teaching myself selenium web driver with java okay and i am hoping i'm encouraging you to come along this journey with me teach yourself a test automation tool it doesn't have to be selenium web driver with java it could be protractor it could be a um, qtp which is now uft it could be a number of any of tools out there right but my name is kevin owasuito and today is day 15 Team, right and we are talking about the difference between an expert and a relative expert sorry an absolute expert and a relative expert right so let's jump right into it right so um to do this i might as well open up our favorite website which is on google.com and show you what i mean okay so let's open up the google.com website and we can talk through it together right so our trusted google search box we inspect that as we've done many times and we will see the highlighted blue uh, properties the html code which is for your search box which is our desired element or our desired object okay so to explain what's a relative expert and a absolute expert an absolute expert we start with an absolute expert an absolute expert you will start from the the root node or the root tag your root node or your root tag on the html is your html tag that starts the root node or the root tag okay so with a, with an absolute expert you will start from that root node and you navigate yourself through all the other tags right so you have to use your parent child a, a relationship traverse through all the html code right down to your desired location right that's an absolute expert a relative expert you can choose any points in between the html root node or the root tag anywhere in between that will do right and then from that point you navigate or you traverse to your desired element right or the highlighted code of your desired element right so simple with absolute you navigate from the root node which is your html tag right and with the relative expert you you can choose anywhere along the html code right the html code and navigate you can choose any point in between there and navigate to your desired object or your desired location html code okay so if we jump for a second back to my website we will see for the relative experts right we have chosen to navigate from here form right from form so that's halfway halfway between your root node which is your html tag we've chosen to navigate at this point right so we chose from to navigate from here right and with also a uh, your relative expert you can actually do your customized expert yeah your customized expert is also could also be classified as a relative expert because it's that it starts with a double backslashes right and those those double backslashes just mean the selection can be made right selection can be made from any of these tags along the html code right so html is a tag head is a tag body is a tag so all this are called tags and those are tag names right so head is a tag name body is a tag name style is a tag name and div is a tag name right so for our relative experts we've chosen to start from form and navigate ourselves all the way down to our desired element or desired objects html code right or you can choose any of the attributes in here and create an expert for those attributes right 
which starts with your double backslash and that is also could also be classified as a relative extra right now if we jump back in the absolute expert now if we see this example here it starts from our html tag navigates all the way down to the body right down to the div all the div tags right down to the div tags back down to form and back to the div tags right down the div tags and right up to input right so if we head back to our well to my blog and if we copy this right i've already done this on my blog so i'm just copying this i'll take it onto a notepad not paste it in here this is just because sometimes when you have quotations right a copy from the blog it's a bit obscured well the um, quotations don't come out right so you just check that okay so if we head back to our google site and we just press ctrl f you can drop it in here and we can validate it straight away right and there you go right so we navigated from the html tag through to the body tag through to the deep tag deep to full sibling dev because those devs were were sibling relationships right it wasn't like a parent-child relationship that's why we used full sibling. that's another a, a topic altogether but today this is your absolute expert right and an example of our relative expert if we head back to my blog right which is here and if we copy the example that i've given here remember we started from form let's drop it into the let's drop it in here right and you see what i mean right we have to single quotations we have to replace otherwise it's not going to work when we drop it into our so we copy that and we head back to and we drop that in here and that shows you that our relative expert is also correct right and there you have it but before we go we need to explain one thing which is about our absolute expert you can see why absolute expert is going to be an issue to use right because if you're navigating your way all the way right if you're navigating and using the relationships between the tags right so you're navigating from html all the way down to your desired location right if any of these codes should be changed by the developers right if you use your absolute expert and any of these codes change then your experts in nowhere, right? So that's one of the disadvantages with um, absolute expert. Okay, so there you have it, right? We've explained what is a relative experts and absolute experts. I hope that was uh, plain to understand, simple to understand. But uh, my blog is there; you can read it there, right? And it's it's plain and um, simple to understand, right? I out there, right? So thanks for watching again comment engage right if you like this video and you like what i'm doing uh, subscribe to the U youtube channel uh, comments please uh, encouragement and stuff like that okay and thanks for for um for watching again and i hope this was clear enough and if it uh, if it helps you out i'm bringing up more videos uh, along with various topics right so because i'm teaching myself this I want you to I want to encourage others to do the same, right? So if this is helping you out, join the channel and give some support. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.